Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss the race from the weekend. We didn't get an opportunity to digest what had happened as I had to end the stream a little bit early and shoot off, which we normally would do after our watch alongs. Now, guys, what I wanna discuss particularly about the race from the weekend is the big talking point, Max Verstappen and that ridiculous rocket of a car, the Red Bull. Max finished a considerable distance ahead of his teammate, nearly 20 seconds ahead of Sergio Perez, who should be in identical machinery. We know it didn't have the same power unit, but should be identical in essence. Now, what I wanna discuss is pretty much what I put a poll out on the community page recently is, was this good for F1? Now, of course, Max Verstappen fans are gonna be over the moon and probably jump on my back and say, of course it is because Max is winning. But I'm looking at it as a bigger picture. I remember the days back of when Schumacher was winning and he was so dominant. We had echoes of that at the weekend or in the last two races. Now, yes, that definitely, guys, comes down to the fact that Max is a brilliant driver. He's one of, if not the best, on the grid. And when you give a driver of Max's caliber a car like that Red Bull was at the weekend, then you're gonna get the results that we've just seen in the last two races. Uh, he's the first person in 65 years to win two races from finishing outside the top 10, or top 10 and out, because he started 10th in Hungary. But you look at it, Max started 10th, he spun it and then still won by 10, 11 seconds at Hungary. And then this weekend, after qualifying, everyone, the fans and even the drivers were sitting there resigned to the fact and saying, yeah, Max is going to win this race from 14th position. And you saw all the drivers that he come up alongside, apart from when he got to the front of the grid, just move out of the way because they knew how much of a rocket ship he was in. Now, credit where it's due, Red Bull have made an absolute beast of a car. And they've done that with, within the regulations, nothing says otherwise. And as I said before, you put a car like that in the hands of a driver like Max, we're gonna see the results we do. But is it good for F1 and is it good for us fans? Because the 2022 regulations at the end of the day was all about promoting closer racing, which we have got. We've definitely got that. But as the races have gone on and as the development has um, obviously become more in depth and the teams understand more of what they're dealing with in regards to these new regulations, of course, we're always gonna see some teams get ahead of others. But it almost feels like that gap at the front is widening even more so from the midfield than it was in the last couple of seasons. Um, once again, comes down to timing, always understandable at the start of new regulations introduced that a couple of teams are always gonna be better than the others. And then as the years go on, that gap kind of decreases, which is what we saw with the old regulations. Um, but it feels like that I'm, I'm seeing something that we could possibly get from the past, which is a car and a driver being totally dominant over the coming years. Now, some of you will be saying, well, we had this with Mercedes for God knows how long in the hybrid era. But the difference with Mercedes is that while they were considerably quicker than the rest of the field, we still had Lewis versus Rosberg. We still had Lewis versus Bottas. Okay, Bottas wasn't overall able to challenge for the championship and take it down to the wire, but he still won races. He still out qualified Lewis and Sergio hasn't been able to do that. We saw it early on, but as the cars developed and probably become more tailored to Max, which is understandable. You're going to prioritize your number one driver. Um, Sergio is starting to fall and off the pace and by his own driving standards as well. He just hasn't been that good enough, but is Max and that car, should it be that quick over the field? Well, it is, but is it good for racing? And should F1 crack down on it for next season to, to bring that gap together? Um, and yes, Ferrari have made mistakes. Leclerc has made mistakes as well. This championship title should be a lot closer. But even if it was 
Max would still have that car in his hands and has got the potential to win every single race to the end of the season. And yeah, ultimately, guys, what I don't want, and a lot of you as well seem to agree, I know some of you won't, and some of you will probably attack me, what I don't want is to see what we had at the weekend, resigning ourselves to the fact that no matter where Max, or any other car for that matter, this isn't just about Max, any other car starts on the grid that they're going to win the race. Um, because no one's ever going to challenge them, because why is McLaren, why is Alpine, AlphaTauri, why are they going to try and battle a car that is that quick when it will just affect their own race and they know that they haven't got the speed to fight him? Um, so very different is it if it's at the very end of the race and there's a points to be decided, but Max got to P1 in 12 laps of a 44-lap race. That's just... Uh, that is phenomenal and ridiculous at the same time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? This is not an attack on Max or Red Bull. As I said, credit where it's due. They've made an amazing car. And when you make a car like that and put it into the capable hands of someone like Max of his calibre, then we're going to see the results that we did at the weekend. But do we want that in F1? It's okay for the odd race, but do we want to see that over the course of the rest of the season? or future seasons moving forward. I definitely don't. I want an exciting sport and see close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree? Um, it's all about opinions, isn't it, in this sport? Even if we do disagree with each other, I'm more about the engagement and look forward to seeing what your thoughts are below. I know some of you have already think I'm jumping the gun here, but uh, I've... I've sat through and seen that Schumacher era and don't particularly want that again. It was completely different to what we saw with Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. We didn't even have inter-team battles. But yeah, let me know what you think below and be sure to turn your notifications on and subscribe because I will be going live this Sunday as we record this Zandvoort race, the Dutch Grand Prix, Max Verstappen's home race, where, as we all know, always gives us an extra few temps for the drivers when they're at their home race and uh, for Max it wouldn't surprise me if it gives him an extra second because those Dutch fans are absolutely crazy in a good way guys in a good way look forward to watching it and I hope you guys can join me on Sunday for the watch along see you soon guys bye